Now, to prove this theorem, if two chords intersect, then the product of the lengths of the two segments formed by one chord is equal to the product of the lengths of the two segments formed by the other chord. Essentially, that means that A, E, okay, so here's the two chords that intercept here at E, so that this A, E times B, E is going to be the same equal to D, E, or excuse me, C, E, and D, E. That multiplied together, okay, the products of those. All right, first thing is we have our two chords intersecting E that's the given. We know now that also that angle AEC is congruent to angle DEB because they're vertical angles, as you can see here. We also know that this angle C and this angle B are equal. All right, and the reason we know that, look here, because they, have, they share the same arc of AD, and we know that these both are inscribed angles and therefore this this is going to be equal to one half of this arc which is the that's using that theorem of the inscribed angle all right now we've got two angles that we have already found that are that are congruent and therefore this triangle of AEC is congruent to this triangle of DEB because of angle angle similarity and from that from we can use the proportions now of A E over C E is the same as D E as is to over B E. And that's because they're, they're corresponding parts and therefore they're proportional. Then just by the simple uh, cross multiplying of A E B E, you just cross multiply, okay? Then we have then proven that the product of the segments of A E and B E, A E and B E, is going to be equal to the product of C, E, and D, E, and therefore we have just proven our theorem.